everyone welcome back to tragic mtg it is finally random buy time again uh, it's been a while since i've done one of these these are getting kind of fewer and farther between for the ones that i'm interested in which would be um, stuff with older cards in it um, looking like some mirage tournament starter deck boxes uh, maybe fourth edition maybe tempest portal stuff here and maybe some loose cards who knows what's in here they did not lay these out and show them off like uh, some of the goodwills do and in fact this goodwill in particular the goodwill of Easter Seals Minnesota they normally do that they will take out cards that they think look good rares with gold uh, logos and foils lay them out and let you see what they found in there they did not do that with this one which is uh, interesting to me. So, uh, was the regular guy off that day? Who knows? Did we get a substitute that didn't know what they were looking for? Or did they go through all of this already and find that there's nothing good and they just decided to show it as is and uh, take what they can get? So, that's the gamble. Here I am to do that. Um, got a nice uh, Planeswalker uh, board game, about uh, the fourth or fifth one that I will now own. Um, but definitely interested in this older stuff. And I think there was a commander deck box. This even looks like it might be a deck box tucked in there. So, got some some uh, possibilities here. We're gonna check it out for about five hundred one dollars and a little bit of shipping and handling. Um, I think it was an okay price for something like this. Uh, these have been going very high lately, even for stuff that doesn't look this promising. So. Um, like I said, these are going to start getting a little more rare. I am definitely going for quality over quantity at this point. Um, so wish me luck. We'll get into it in a minute. Okay, moment of truth. Anything good in here? <laughs> Got a proxy. Got some Chronicles, Flying Dragon, First Strike Trample 9-9. That's quite a beast for only a casting cost of four. It seems overpowered. All right, wishful thinking back then, I guess. Got some nice old school lands. I actually really love these. I've been selling these online or on eBay um, for, a, for a good amount for what they are. So I always keep those aside. Some lands. This may just be, in the end, the commons and land box. The revised unholy strength. All right, let's set some of this stuff over here. Hey, there's a Antiquities Ornithopter. That's really cool. Um, I believe it's just a common, maybe an uncommon. Um, but Antiquities Common 539 right now, hey? Pretty solid, very happy to see that in here. Wall of Kelp, hey, there you go. So, years ago when these guys uh, had their cards, this would have been a nothing card, right? But it, it's not nothing now. Wall of Kelp, 17 bucks. Isn't that funny? I mean, this card was a dollar like a year or two ago. But there it is, it's a, uh, it goes in the showcase pile. Hey, that's pretty cool. A lot of these nice old school lands, I've been getting about 33 cents each for those on eBay, which makes them worth pulling a bunch of them, that's for sure. Serpent Assassin, I have not seen that card very often. It's a rare. Fourth edition, A, hey, it's an alternate fourth, but it's pretty beat up. Yep, it's waxy. There's the, uh, the blue A top right corner, not the white one. 
Um, so I guess I'll pull that one. It's kind of bad. A little beat up though. So that might mean that there might be more alternate fourth stuff here. Yep, there we go. Alternate fourth ghost ship. And um, yeah, got some scratches on it, but. So that'll be, that means I gotta go back through this stuff and, and look close. <laughs> this is really funny. So I think that's exactly what these should have been used for, is make your own flying dragons. Nine, nine, flying first strike, trample. So if these guys were brothers, this, the, other, the brother would have hated to see this come out, I imagine. I love it. I'm gonna hang on to it. Imagine this thing here is a counter spell. Hey, now that's something. Counter spell, buck 50, Allurin. Hey, that's in like perfect condition too. That is excellent, okay, great. Boom, big difference there. 118. Hey, that's a great hit, okay. I actually don't have any sleeves nearby. Can go there for now. Secret Skybreak. All right. Well, that uh, now I got a bunch of hope for. Hopefully, the rest of these boxes have some good stuff in it. Spirit Crafter. Yeah. Okay. Great. So this is the good Minotaur from Homelands right there. I mean, it was a dollar forever, now it's $15. I'll take it. Reap? Yeah, oh, uh, uncommon, five bucks. Return any number of target cards from a graveyard to your hand. You cannot choose more cards than the number of black permanents target opponent controls. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna see some play in something. Foul Imp. Reanimate, there we go. It's an uncommon too, right? scratched up on the back 12 bucks though we'll take it This looks like it's from like a different collection and sometimes the Goodwills do that. Metallic Mimic, hey, whoops. Just throw that anywhere. Hey, that's not too bad for being just in this little box over here. Nine bucks, there we go.
Ink Eyes. Rat Ninja. There we go. Now we're talking $14.95 for Ink Eyes. Cool. Good shape, too. Sashiro the Anointed. This might be okay as well as Legendary. Oh, that's okay. All right. 14. Hey, this box is starting to pan out. Hey, excellent flagstones. So, this card's up and down, up and down a bit lately. Different version. Probably going to get reprinted again. But 19 bucks right now. Another ink eyes. Amulet of Vigor. Ooh, like near mint, near mint condition. 17 bucks. Man, that's nice. I'm gonna put it right back in the sleeve, actually. So, hey, another amulet. Very nice. Perfect near mint condition right here. Ba bing. Yeah, see, they didn't they didn't go through and, and pull out any gold logo rares here. Um, that particular Goodwill does that. A lot of their listings I really don't go for because they show you exactly what's in there. Uh, this one, they got lazy, I guess. Yo, Sashiro the Anointed again. This was a good one. Time of need. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get to, oh my gosh. There we go, a couple of these. Excellent. And it's like, in near mint condition. Boom, there we go, we'll put two of those on there. There's a quick hundy. Put that back in a sleeve, actually. Excellent. So a foil ruin ghost. Oops. Eight twenty five, actually. Felwar Stone in an Underground River. Put the dish in five bucks in an Underground River. Blue Black Painland, I think. Eight bucks. That's a winner out of these little boxes here. Cool. Next up is this batch of rubber banded together stuff. There's a Shaku and Bringer, which I believe is a reserve list. It's sitting at 10 bucks right now. Great.
Taniwa, that's a rare. That's a reserve list card, actually. And it actually is showing 888 right now. Up from like 25 cents. There we go, 499. That's an uncommon. A golem and a unfulfilled desires. Excellent reserve list card. Glare. $23.99. There we go. There's a winner. Prismatic lace. Nope, that's reprint, I think, actually. Oh no, that's pretty decent. A rare $7.94. Must be reserve list. Valerian Serpent. That's a rare. A buck. Personal Tutor. Hey, that's pretty decent for Portal. Finally found a good Portal card. There we go. Uncommon. Uh, the last one of these that I found, it said it was about half of that, so that's pretty awesome. I will keep that one for sure. <laughs> All right, there you have it. 705 off of a uh, gamble of 500 or so. Ended up with some nice little surprises. Couple Deadly Seasons and Alluren and a Flying Dragon uh, and it's personal tutor. So uh, I had fun. It was cool. Got some good stuff out of it. Actually got a big stack of um, uh, old school basic lands that are in really good shape. Um, those actually add up. I sell those uh, all day long on eBay. Uh, check out my eBay store. Link down below. Watch my other videos. Like and subscribe. Do all the YouTube stuff. Trash Camp TV saying thanks for watching. Catch you later.